Well, it's been a week since the unprecedented raid against Donald Trump at his Mar-a-Lago home by the feds. Uh, Trump has actually called for an immediate release of the unredacted affidavit justifying the raid. It's supposed to be very specific. You show up. Here's your warrant. It's got to be something damning, you would think. And you can't just tell people, to oh, shut the cameras off. You're not allowed to see what we're doing. We're going to be in there for nine hours, 30 agents. It has to be something major. But so far, we're still uh, waiting on that. So Trump took to his social media platform, Truth Social, late in the evening on August 15th, where he said releasing the affidavit would be in the interest of transparency. Trump also called for the judge to be recused from the case. His call for the affidavit to be released comes after President Joe Biden's administration asked a federal court to keep it shielded from the public, stating that releasing it would irreparably harm the government's ongoing criminal investigation. And of course, it turned out that this uh, judge, or actually it's, it's a magistrate, so you'd think that if you're going to go after, you're going to raid the former president's home, it must be some heavy hitter. They, they know something major that he's holding on to, whether it's nuclear secrets, or you would have a high-level judge. Jeez. No, they just found the one magistrate in southern Florida who happened to be a representative of Jeffrey Epstein and his crew, that's the one guy that they used for this justification to tear through the president's home for nine hours over some uh, boxes of documents for, for the National Archives. There's unsealed documents. Following the raid, the Department of Justice and FBI have remained relatively tight-lipped about why the agents searched Mar-a-Lago or what they were investigating. You think this would be all just open and transparent like you know this was a, a major undertaking that we didn't want to necessarily do but you know he trump was uh, holding on to like nuclear secrets and we were afraid he was gonna uh give them to the russians or iranians or something but no they, they don't have shit so it's it seems like it's a witch hunt it's january 6th they don't want anybody looking they don't want the transparency of the process uh because they are hiding something they're they're trying it's a fishing expedition they're trying to find something that they can stick on the uh, the former president and prevent him from running in 2024. This is the, the deep state going after their political enemies, and they are terrified of Trump taking back the White House in 2024. So let's take a, a t look at this tweet from uh, Jack Posobiec about uh, declassification. Now, there's been that big controversy of whether he's holding on to classified documents, and he says that no, as, as, as the president, he could declassify whatever he wants, anything, at any time, anywhere. And then we look at Hillary, who deleted 33,000 emails with uh, the bleach bit program so nobody could see them, uh, who was not a president. She was the Secretary of State and a former senator, but she has no uh, authority to do that. So that's why she hid all of the evidence. But of course, they didn't uh, you know, raid her home. So this is just total double standard well, until they you know can say what they were looking for and show us like oh this was a justified thing and shame on donald trump for holding that stuff they could have gotten it in the wrong hands and it would have been a national security issue but it wasn't and they were still waiting for them to show us. So the FBI's raid on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate was uh, directly approved and overseen by the Justice Department officials with deep ties to Russiagate. According to a report from investigative journalist Paul Sperry, the FBI agents and officials involved and are actively under criminal investigation by special counsel John Durham for potentially abusing their power investigating Trump and the Russian fraud and therefore have a potential conflict of interest and should have been recused from participating in the supposed espionage investigation at Mar-a-Lago. Nicholas McQuaid was, uh, worked at the same law firm with both Hunter Biden's criminal attorney and Michael Sussman's criminal attorney. you got Lisa Monaco, uh, Obama aide implicated in Russiagate, and you've got Maggie Goodlander, wife of top Biden aide Jake Sullivan, who has been himself implicated in Russiagate just before the midterm election. So there you go. It, it sounds like a big political hit job. And if not, then show the evidence. We had a major corruption problem in D.C. with the deep state targeting their enemy, their nemesis, Donald J. 
Trump. Uh, now the FBI is going to be trying to pl play the victim. Of course, they're going out. Uh, Christopher Ray, the director, is coming out. Oh, how can people get mad at the FBI? Because you're totally corrupt and you're using them to do your dirty work. Now they're trying to say uh, Trump supporters are threatening to set off a dirty bomb over the Mar-a-Lago raid. Now that's got uh, elements of uh, nuclear material. Why would a American patriot set off a fucking dirty bomb in this country and how much collateral damage that would do? So how dare they come out and say this stuff without any proof? Because they just want to get their, their people that uh, believe their bullshit media to think that this is actually something that would happen. It, it won. So now they're, they're trying to set this up so that they can go after uh, political enemies and switch the narrative. Oh, the poor FBI. Well, if you weren't involved in this awful shit or like uh, trying to set up uh, Patriots and the, the Governor Whitmer case in Michigan, you know, we, we want to see the, the FBI being the good guys again, but we know that the leadership is totally corrupt. The FBI released a bulletin on Friday warning of numerous threats, including a dirty bomb threat. Give me a fucking break. Who would even have access to something like that? And why would they possibly use it? That just doesn't make any sense. Again, unless you're just trying to get the, the, the dumb cult followers that actually still believe the mainstream media. And they're going to go, oh my God, did you hear the Trump supporters are going to use the dirty bomb? Oh my God. Well, I guess they can fool them, but uh, it ain't working on the rest of us that have a functioning brain. So don't be fooled. As Errol listened to his advice, don't be fooled by folks in tactical gear, fresh Trump hats, and wielding crisp new Trump flags. And who, no one knows who the fuck paid Patriot front is. Those have got to be uh, fed boys because nobody else knows who they are. But they show up at these big events and they, they all, uh, yeah, brand new clothing, marching in unison. Uh, those are just total psyop bullshit. So those aren't Trump supporters. So don't be fooled. That's all I've got. Thank you for listening.